Hey, it's Ray here, and today I am really excited to tell you about a brand new video editing and screen capture tool that's going to help you to make better videos than you ever have at a much more affordable price. As you know, if you create videos, you're going to need a video editing tool such as Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. And if you're going to do screen capture, you need something like ScreenFlow or Camtasia. Well, unfortunately, to pick up these tools, it's going to cost you hundreds of dollars. Or in the case of Adobe, it's going to cost you $30 for the rest of your life. Well, that's why I am super excited to tell you about Create by Videlo. Create allows you to edit videos just like any powerful editing tool, but it has some great marketing features built in, animations built in, and you can do screen capture from right inside the program. But rather than jibber jabber about it, let me show you how it works right now. Okay, so here I am inside of the Create app. Now I wanna show you this because this is a really exciting app because it does a lot of really cool things. One, it allows you to edit videos just like you would with Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or any other video editor. But it also has a built-in screen capture tool just like ScreenFlow or Camtasia. And all of this is in one product that you get right now for an incredible price. So this is something you'll definitely want to pay attention to. So let's take a look at exactly how this works. So over here, this is where your project files are going to be. Right here, these would be the project files that you bring in. And it's inside this folder icon here. Here you have text and typography. And you can add text just quickly and easily by clicking the buttons, okay? Down here you have music that's already built into the platform. So if you wanna add any music, you can simply listen to it. And if you like it, you can drag it into your project. We're not gonna do that right now because we're gonna actually put together a project so you can see how cool that is. You can also choose the different types of music in here, okay? And right here, you can copy and paste a script to actually generate a voice. And that's something that, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, but some people like that. So if you're gonna do a voiceover, you can do that right in here with some of the computerized text-to-speech voices. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here and we're gonna bring in a project file, a video, and we're going to edit the video. So I'm gonna bring in a bookkeeping video right here. And this is one of the instant spokesperson videos with no music. So we're gonna import that here, and you'll see it's gonna show up in our bin. And so now what we can do is we can take that and we can drag that in here. I'm gonna put it on track number two. And the reason I'm gonna put it on track number two is that that way it gives us room to put text on top and audio on the bottom. And so what we wanna do here is take a look at what we've got. So this is our canvas, and you can see our video is in here. Now you notice right now it's not filling the entire screen, but we can adjust that or over on the right hand side, we can hit fit to canvas and scale it up so it fits perfectly. And speaking of that, you'll also wanna make sure that you set your settings in here. Right now this is set to 720p, but if we wanna do 1080, which is what this video is already in, we can switch the project to 1080 and it'll bring it in just like that and we're ready to go. And you can see it's 1920 by 1080. You also have the option of changing the background here. So if you wanted to change this to a different color, you could do that. Uh, one word of advice when you do that, if you do a fade out, it's gonna fade out to that color. So if you put purple, it's gonna fade to purple instead of black. So you may wanna leave that at black or maybe even white in some situations. Here you can give this project a name. So we're gonna call it test one, okay? And if you wanna export this as a temp template, you can do that by clicking right here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make this video complete by editing it down. So over here, we're gonna go back to our video area. And if we wanna mess with anything, we can mess with the opacity here. You can mess with the position by numbers. So if we wanna move that 10% over, we can do that. We wanna scale it back, click the scale button. Down here, we have the option to fade in and fade out this video. So if we wanna fade this in for, let's say, half a second, we can put 0.5. And we can also fade it out for half a second by hitting 0.5. And that's gonna allow us, if we watch this here now, go back to the beginning here and hit play. If you're looking for a you'll see it fades in and if we go to the end and watch the ending free consultation you'll see it fades out that simple and that's what's great about this is they make it very very simple for anybody to edit very quickly now this video is kind of boring without its music and so what we're going to do is we're going to add some music to this so i'm going to bring this right to the front here and i'm going to go to the music area whoops that's the text area here we go we're going to listen to some music here 
little too intense. Let's find something else. Oh, that's actually pretty good right there. I like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to drag it, and I'm going to put it underneath. And you'll see it brings the audio in here. Now you notice the audio is a lot longer than our video. So we need to do a couple of things here. We need to cut this down and then we need to fade it out. So to cut it down, there's a couple of things that we could do here. We could actually come to the end of it here and we could grab the end and just drag it down like so until we reach the end here. Or the other thing we could do is if we bring our playhead out here and put it right at the end of our video, we can actually click this button right here which is going to split that clip right in half. So you can see there's now two pieces and then we can delete that one out. And now we've got an ending right there. Now, of course, if we play this right now, consultation, it just kind of abruptly ends. So we want to add a fade out for that too. And just like with the video, you can fade that out right here. And so I'm going to fade it out for one second and give it a little more time to fade. And now we can come back and watch the ending again. Contact us today for a free consultation. And you can hear it nice fade out for that audio. And so now we've got a really nice video with some music on here. But let's notice one other thing with this. If we play this right now. Such as, do I really need someone to handle my books? How much time does this take? That audio is very loud over his voice, it makes it more difficult for him to be heard. And so, of course, we want to bring that volume down. And we can do that right here. But bringing that down, I'm going to bring it down to about 30%. And we'll listen to that and see how that sounds. Each month, or even can I afford to hire a bookkeeper? Well, we have the answers. Our I think that's pretty good. It's a good balance between hearing the music and yet still being able to understand our actor in the video. So that's perfect. So the next thing we want to do for this video is you'll notice at the very end, when we play this, it's going to say, There's a poorly kept us now. And then underneath it is a nice blank space. So what we want to do is we want to add some text to this. So we're going to do that by coming over here to our text area. And we can do one of a couple of things. We could choose one of the presets here, or we can hit the add text button, which we did before, which will just bring in a block of text. And I kind of like this one right here. So we're going to bring that into this here and drop it in. And by the way, if it moves it into a uh, certain uh, layer, you can actually move it up and down just like so. And you can see we want it to start right about there. And we want it to end with the end of the video, so we're going to drag that back just like so. Very easy to do that. And so now it's going to end right there. Now, of course, our text is in the wrong spot. We want it to be under here. So all we have to do is grab that text, move it down into this area here, something like that, and this one right above it. And so now all we have to do is change this to a phone number. So I'm going to say 111, 111-1111. Very easy number to remember. And down here, we could put the website. So this is for a bookkeeper. So we'll say uh, bookkeeper.com. And so now we have the phone number and we have the website, uh, excuse me, the website in there, the URL. And we can move this into the proper positions where we like it, just like so. And once we have that set, we're good to go. And of course, once again, we're going to want to fade that in. So we're going to do that for one second here. I'm going to do that for one second here. And so now if we go back and we watch this. Poorly kept books. We There you go. Now you've got a lot of great options with this. This 1111111. We can go in and make any changes that we want. But we can change the, the font. So if we want to do a different type of look for the font, we can do that just by clicking that here. See if we can find a nice fun font to use this for. There's lots of different fonts to choose from. Just like so. Let's see. This one's called Happy Monkey. That is a happy monkey. And we can come through here. Let's find something good. So many different fonts to choose from. All right, we're just going to go with that because that's kind of fun. Okay. Um, you know, obviously, if you're doing this, you may not want to use a font quite like that, but I'm going to do that for this one anyway. And again, you can change that for this one as well. And here we could come in, we could also change it from bold to semi-bold to regular to light. So we did regular and see what that looks like. Yeah, I like the bold. So we're going to leave it like that. And so now our video is pretty much done. And if we wanted to export it as is, we could come over to this area here and simply hit choose location and export our video out. 
But of course, I want to show you some other fun things that are in here that you can actually do while you're making your video. So one of the cool things that they have is, and we'll, uh, let's go back to our end screen actually, is if we come over here, we've got, not only do we have the text that we can do, but we've also got the option to bring in images. And there are images built in. You've also got icons. So if you need to bring in an icon, they've got icons built right in here. Okay, so if you wanted to, uh, I don't know, make sure that they know that you do Visa, you could take this and you could bring the, uh, the Visa logo in here and make sure people know that you take Visa. And once again, oops, sorry, my mouse is a little squirrely. Once again, you can take that and you could fade that in. For one second, drag this to fit the end of the video. And again, we have our nice Here's of poorly kept books. We can have faded in ending. And if we don't like that, we of course can remove that out of there. Now, one of the other really cool things that they have in here are emoticons or emojis and they're animated. And so you can actually add animated logos or animated uh, emojis into your video. So all you have to do is uh, find one that you like. So maybe this guy here or the cat. Maybe this guy, oh, the clown. Yes, we gotta do the clown. So we're gonna grab the clown and we can again drag that in here, just like so, resize that and put that wherever you want. Now, why would you wanna have an animated clown in a bookkeeping video? I have no idea, but for fun, we can. I just wanted to show you how you can do that and that's gonna pop it right in there. And now you've got this fun little animated emoji on there that you can uh, you know, impress your friends with on your videos. And of course, if you think that's too silly for our bookkeeping video, once again, you can delete that out of there. So that's some of the fun things that we have inside the program, but there is more to this as well. Now, if you notice, when we came here to the folder icon, there's a little button right here. Now, this is part of the upgrade package, and if you click this, you actually have a media library that you can search from in here. Now, this is all video footage, and you've got mountains, you've got oceans, you've got people, you've got, I don't know, this one I think is like office type stuff, and then you've got backgrounds here, abstracts. And all of these can be added to your project at any time it's built right in. Again, this is an upgrade, so you will have to pay for that, and they also have images in here as well. Same type of thing, you can choose the different types of images like the abstract ones to bring into any project. You can preview any of the videos, so when we go back to the video footage, you can preview them, see what they look like. And if you wanna use it, you can import it just by clicking the import button, and that will put it into your project. Once we go back to the editor, you'll see that our background is now in here, and we could take that and we could bring that into our project. So for instance, let's say we wanted to put uh, a YouTube end screen at the end of our video. We could play this. Consultation. Okay, and there's our footage. We're gonna scale that to fit. And now you could put information on here as well as any, uh, or, or leave it just blank and go into YouTube and add all the information on there inside the end screens inside of YouTube. So that's how you can put that together. So a lot of really cool stuff in there, but I haven't showed you the one other thing that's really cool in this particular program, and that is the screen capture. Now the screen capture, you'll notice there's a record button right here. And so we can actually do screen captures right inside the program. So if we click this here, you'll see that we've got the screen recording area and we can choose from desktop, screen, and region. So if we were to choose region, for instance, that would allow us to pick an, a, an area of the screen that we wanna record and we can resize it just like so. So if we wanted to record you know, something, uh, maybe there's a, a, a phone on the screen that has an animation in it, you could record that. So there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can do custom presets here. So if you wanted to make sure it was at 1920 by 1080, you can do that and it'll resize it. And then once you're done, you can start your recording by clicking here. You can also choose to record your desktop directly or you can select a screen. Now we're gonna stick with desktop here and you'll notice that you've got a couple options here. One, you can choose whether or not to show your cursor in the recording. And the second one is you can display mouse clicks. Very useful for doing things like trainings. Now down here, you can also turn on your cameras if you wanna record yourself at the same time. So if I was to click this here, you can see there I am. And I can choose any of my cameras. So now I'm over here. You can also choose your microphones. So in this case here, I'm gonna choose my 
MGXU, which is my mixer, which has my microphone through it. And uh, so now we could start a recording. Okay, so here I am screen recording and we're looking at Google Ads here. And you can see my mouse as we mouse around the screen and when we click. And of course you can hear my voice and we're recording on the camera as well. So we're getting all three of these things at the same time so that we can add it to our videos. And once I'm done, all I'm gonna do is hit shift escape and that's gonna bring the video back into our timeline. Okay, so now that we're back in create, you can see our video recording and our camera recording here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna bring that into our project here and we can move that around we can also add our camera and audio by dropping that in here. And now if we play this back, you'll be able to see exactly what we recorded. And by the way, we can resize all of this. As you can see, the camera is in the background there. So we're going to scale this up and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit there. And so now we can play this back and you'll hear the recording that we did. Okay, so here I am screen recording and we're looking at Google ads here. So very cool, we got the screen recording in there. Now we do have the camera view that we did as well, which I've got hidden here. But if we wanted to show that, we could bring that up to the top here and that's gonna bring it out front. And then we could even resize that to do one of those effects where the camera is off in the corner while you're doing your screen capture. So this allows you to do some very cool things when it comes to training. And overall, this is an amazing program, especially when you consider the price. Programs like Final Cut Pro cost hundreds of dollars. Camtasia costs hundreds of dollars. Premiere costs even more because you're gonna be paying every single month for the uh, Adobe Creative Cloud Studio and all that stuff. And so this is one crazy bargain that makes video editing not only easy, but extremely powerful at the same time. And I just wanted to share some of these things with you because this is a really great program. In fact, this is one of the better programs that I've ever seen in this particular market, especially when you consider the price that they're charging for this right now. So check it out. And if you have any questions, of course, please feel free to let me know. Well, there you go. That is Create by Videlo. As you can see, a tremendous program that will allow you to make amazing videos, add text, add animated icons, and do all the video work that you would normally do in multiple programs right from one product. And the best part is you're not gonna spend hundreds of dollars like you would with Premiere or Final Cut. You're only going to be spending up to $67 to get started right now. And all you have to do to get started is click the link down below this video. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask at any time. And be sure to check out all the great bonuses that we have as well, which are all down below this. Just scroll down, you'll be able to check those out. And again, any questions, let me know, and we'll see you in the next video.